finding a niche in the market with Zenu. Now, let's get to it on We Do Paid Forward. Welcome, I'm Milena Radakovic and this is We Do Pay It Forward. Welcome back to We Do Pay It Forward. I'm so excited to introduce you our new guest, Zainab Ah of Affinity Academy. Welcome, we're Hi. so excited to have you here. Can you tell me a little bit of your company and as well as I'm excited to hear about the new venture that you're starting as well. Yeah, so my husband and I, we started Affinity Academy uh, back in 2016, officially. Uh, so we are a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy. We teach martial arts to all age groups. Uh, we have two locations. We also teach Muay Thai, kickboxing, and self-defense as well. Wow, oh, how exciting. And especially like we were talking before, this is a sport that is, it's fairly new and I, it was interesting just I was just watching the Olympics and just to mm -hmm. see some of that in it and especially you don't usually see women in the, that type of sport mm -hmm. and can, can you tell us a little bit about why don't we have enough women doing this kind of sport yeah so Brazilian jiu-jitsu is a very close contact martial art it's a it's a combat martial arts sport and so I guess when a lot of women see that they just think, you know, traditionally, this is not something that I'm comfortable getting myself into. There's people sitting on top of you. It's very close contact. And so I think that has really thrown a lot of people off over the years. And jujitsu is now starting to become a little bit more mainstream. You're hearing about it a lot more. Um, the UFC obviously kind of, yeah. you know, expanded everybody's knowledge of that. But now you're seeing more women in local tournaments. When I first started competing, there was almost no women. There was a very small group of us. And mm -hmm. now every time you go to a tournament, you're seeing more women, you're seeing more younger girls, you're seeing, you know, a lot of people now taking it up and they're, they're, the idea of it is becoming more familiar uh, and more comfortable. Um, so yeah, I'm hopeful that we, that, that continues and that um, we start to expand and expand more. I think that's wonderful. And you had mentioned one of the reasons that certain um, people with beliefs are not doing it is because there's a restriction in the attire. So tell us about you found a niche with your new mark with your uh, new business. So why don't you tell the audience how you went about it? Because I love this story. Yeah. So when I first started jujitsu back in 2013, I was in a very dark place. I was just coming out of um, having my son, my second child, and I experienced a lot of PTSD. It was a very traumatic birthing experience with him and my husband decided well he he kept bringing the idea of me trying jujitsu with him because he was teaching at the time and at first I was like this is not for me I'm not comfortable I don't want anyone touching me I just had a baby no way but then four months in he was like you know I think this would really help you I was dealing with a lot of course you know after you have a baby there's all kinds of emotions going on so I tried it out and one of the things that was kind of, I was really hesitant about at the time was my hijab. How am I supposed to keep this on my head? I pin it down and so obviously you can't have any hardware when you're training, it's, right. it's not safe. Uh, you can't have any loose fabric. Uh, you need something that's really breathable and that was a huge problem for me. I was like, how am I supposed to train, get sweaty, roll oh. around on the mats, oh. get out of certain positions without this falling off my head? And that's when the idea of creating a sports hijab specifically for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, so that other women can train as well. So I got to work, I went in my kitchen, I took my grade seven oh. sewing skills and I bought some Love fabric, it. I got myself a sewing machine and I started designing and I started you know, making these drawings and, and, and all of that. And eventually I created a sports hijab for myself that I got to you know, use and train and I tweaked it over the years. And then I started thinking, okay, well, if I need this, other women obviously need this. But at the time, there weren't that many women training jujitsu. So I kind of left it. I was just like, okay, I'm not going to expand this anymore. I'm not going to proceed with this until I see that there's a really big need for this in the market. Um, and 
like I said, back then there weren't as many women training. Right. Now, because of social media, there's so many women training. Um, if you go into the Middle East, you see that it's a hub for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That's where a lot of high level people go to do big tournaments. And so I saw that there's more and more women that look like me that have this need. So in 2020, I started a YouTube channel because what else was there to do during a pandemic? Right. Uh, and that's when I started talking about the hijabs that I was using. And that's when people started reaching out to me from all over the world saying, hey, I just started jujitsu or I really want to do this. What hijab are you wearing? What do you recommend? What should I do? And then that's when I realized that, OK, this can actually work. Um, I kind of put it on the back burner for a little while because there's a lot of moving pieces when you're creating a product, you need right. manufacturing, you need to invest a lot. Right. And so I just kind of put it to the side for a little bit until I was really ready, ready to give it 110% focus. And that's when I start, I restarted that process two years ago. Uh, I got a designer, we tweaked it. I just received my first sample from the manufacturer. So I hope to launch it later this year. And I'm talking about it more on my social media page as well. So oh. just trying to get the word out there now that this is coming and right. this should never be a barrier for anyone. Uh, your clothing and your religion and your, your beliefs should never be a barrier right. if you're very passionate about something and if it's something that's bringing you great benefit to your mind to your health to your yes. wellness like it did for me then you know this should never be a problem right. and this will help you overcome those obstacles yeah i'm a big advocate on health and wellness and i, I i've spoken about that before and especially uh, for anybody not even just entrepreneurs i think yes. your mind and body is so intertwined and you're absolutely right. And especially, um, I do remember after having my first daughter, it was like I barely slept and it was yes. such a hard time. And then my husband said, maybe it's time for you to go back into the gym because he knew how for that, it was just so rewarding. The endorphins that you, yes. you get from the, the, the physicality of working out was so important. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I absolutely, I, I share the, some of the experience that you had and I love your story of how you're doing it. So hopefully e-commerce is going to be coming from this, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So I once the product is, is all good and I've given it the green light, um, that's when we'll get the website and everything will be up and running and then uh, we'll be ready to launch. So I'm hoping uh, the process takes a really long time. So I'm hoping that by December 2024 this year that oh. we'll have everything available and it will be available worldwide. Oh, that's fantastic. And yeah. I think there's probably a lot of retailers out there that would love to have uh, something like this as part of their, like, I can just think of sports check, for yeah. instance. Like, yeah. there, and there, I mean, there's so, um, it's like you said, across the world, um, the sport is growing. I know that uh, my daughter's uh, boyfriend is in trying to be as an MMA uh, amateur fighter. And uh, I had no idea how big of a sport it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. great. So can you tell us, so you've been in business for a few years now with your husband. Mm -hmm. What are some of the challenges? So I'm sure in our audience, there are quite a bit of businesses that are co-owned with a spouse. Yes. What are some of the challenges that you had and how did you conquer those challenges to be successful uh, in yeah, your business? That's a really great question. Where do I start with that? <laughs> uh, so there's there's so there's different challenges that especially when you're doing it as a family business. So there's the challenge that comes with separating your business from your family. And then when you're in your business, you can't act like husband and wife, right? You have to flip the, the switch and you, right. I call it the, the light switch effects. So when you walk into your room, you kind of have to, it's like you're switching on a, a light bulb and you can't be husband and wife anymore. So everything that has to do with the home has to stay at home. So right. that was a really big challenge. Okay. Um, the second challenge was uh, bringing my kids along. So my kids were very young at the time when, when we started all of this and it was a family business. So I didn't have family around to have like childcare. That was not an option. And so we kind of had to drag our kids with us everywhere. It was just the two of us running the show. Uh, and so our family life was very much uh, disrupted. Mm. <laughs> I should, uh, 
for lack of better words. So that took time to just kind of find a better rhythm for us. And then there's the challenge of staffing and, and expanding your business and scaling. So when we first started, it was just the two of us. We actually started the business in our basement and then it, it grew to what it is today. And so scaling and seeing that right. vision was, it's very scary. But when you have the right people and you have the right tools and you're investing in the right coaching and you're getting help and you're not doing it all by yourself, it makes it a lot easier. So we did have a business coach that was helping us and that allowed us to get staff so that I could step away from the business a little bit. So there's always challenges. There's never going, there's never going to be linear. There's, right. there's always going to be ebbs and flows. The economy is always changing. When COVID happened, that was a huge challenge. Right. So. Um, yeah, I would say those were some of the, the big challenges that we had yeah. to deal with. Well, I love how you said that you took on a business coach to help you out because I think a lot of entrepreneurs feel like they have to do this on their own yes. and they don't. You know, there are people out there who are there to support them yes. and to to help them. Like so a business coach or another organization that you could uh, be part of that could be there uh, for you. So I love hearing that. Yeah. So what's what's next for you now? Next for us, I would say is we're, I mean, I don't think I will ever kind of step away from Affinity Academy. I think it's always going to be part of our life, uh, but just now that we have a great staffing team i would like to give them more opportunity and more more of a career path for them so that this isn't just something that they do for a few years and then move on to the next thing i want this to be a long-term thing for them so giving them benefits giving oh, nice. them opportunity for retirement uh, I would like to focus a little bit more on that. And then also just the retail line that I'd like to start yeah. for Muslim women. I want this to be accessible and easy, and I want this to become more mainstream. So that's that's the vision that oh. I have for the future. I love it. It's <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. This has been such a pleasure. How can the audience get a hold of you and learn more yes. about your both of your businesses. Yeah, so I can be found, my personal uh, Instagram page and on TikTok is Lady Z Official. And then we have two Northwest locations in Calgary for our business. If you're looking for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for yourself, for your children, for your entire family, uh, and Muay Thai and kickboxing, we have two locations in the Northwest. Uh, our website is affinityacademy.ca and our locations are in Varsity and Nolan Hill. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, audience, and stay tuned for more. If you are inspired and want to join the We Do community, then go on wedocanada.com and also nominate and sponsor the next inspirational woman.